We are on to the semifinals in our bracket of the most feared player in the NFL. Michael Vick beat Devin Hester in the first round. Peyton Manning topped Tom Brady. Now two quarterbacks squaring off again, although totally different styles than these two. And first up is track record. We give the check to Peyton Manning. You figure a decade of winning 10 games, that'll strike some fear into people. Not only winning games, but playing all of them. Never gets hurt. He's always out there. Led his team to the playoffs a number of times. You're right. I don't think there's any question in this category. Michael Vick just hasn't done it over a long enough period of time. Our next category is the clutch factor, which guy comes through when it matters most. And again, I think we're talking about Manning over the course of a period. You know, you can look at instances where Manning fell short, his team fell short, but Vic, I believe, has more of them compared to the number of games the two have played. Yeah, we've seen them both fall short. It seems like in recent memory, we've seen both of them end their seasons with interceptions. Yep. Vic did it last year, Peyton in the Super Bowl. But Peyton, just more fourth quarter comebacks, more last minute wins that you've seen. I think it's easy to give him the check there. Next up is the game breaker category, the ability to, in one play to completely change the game. I think this is tailor made for Vic. Yeah, no question. He wasn't going to be a clean sweep in, in this whole thing. Vic obviously has that electric ability with his feet, with his arm, improved as a passer last year. Manning more of a check down guy takes what the defense gives you. I think there's no question this one goes to Vic. Our next one is strategy. And while it's very tough to defend Vic and come up with game plans with him, I think the Vikings found something by blitzing that corner last year. That seemed to rattle him a little bit. Some teams use zone. With Peyton Manning, it's very tough to completely stop him in a game, so we gave him the check there. Yeah, he's seen every game plan iman imaginable. They're not coming up with anything new to stop Peyton and he's beaten every one of them. So whatever you put together, you know there's probably gonna be a point in the game where he figures you out. That's a scary thing to look at. And finally, it's the nasty factor. It's kind of a tough one to pick here. It's not exactly that James Harrison, Ray Lewis kind of factor in this one, but we give it to Peyton here. People don't realize that when he's on the field, he can be pretty nasty. Pretty fiery guy, and I think defensive coordinators have spent more time frightened, concerned, worried about Peyton Manning than they have Michael Vick. I think early in his career, maybe Vick for a short period, but I think over the long haul, Manning, no question. So Peyton gets the win four to one. Not a huge surprise, I think, here. Peyton is kind of one of the favorites, I think, in this competition. So he advances to the finals. We'll have to see who it is he's going up against. Make sure to check it all out at Facebook, Twitter, or at ProFootballWeekly.com.